Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you my first forays into 3D printing. Scruffy Crow. So this was shot about a week after I got my printer, uh, but when I finally plucked up enough courage to get it out of the box and get everything set up, uh, also when I cleaned enough space. Uh, the setup of the actual machine itself was fairly straightforward. Um, but I didn't want to print the, uh, the included sort of test piece, uh, so I spent ages faffing around trying to get a, uh, a file and learning how Shootbox worked, um, getting it all sliced, um, and that's where this happens. Okay, so about an hour of faffing around, I finally pressed print on a uh, dwarf from Alex Huntley uh, Warp Block Miniatures. Uh, it's pre sword his priest, his pre-supported uh, dwarf. Um, I had to get to grips with Shootbox to get it sliced, um, but I've used all the default settings. So this is it. This is the momentous occasion. Um, my first print. Oh, is that good news? Anyway, I'll leave this to run and I'll come back to you uh, when I've got something to show for it. Okay, my first print is finished. There he is, with the resin slowly dripping off. It appears to have worked, but I can't see the other side just yet. Preparing the wash machine now. Okay, so I've just dropped the entire build platform in the IPA. Set the little machine for four minutes. So I'll leave that to finish counting down. And then we should have a look at my first 3D printed mini. Okay, so I have filtered the resin, checked the Pep. Uh, there's no lumps or chunks in there. Um, I've put the resin back into the tank, put the lid back on. That should be all right till tomorrow. Uh, I so far have made very little mess. Things are going okay. So this is the moment of truth, and we have a dwarf, and he appears to have come out really nicely. Seems to have worked. You can make out the wood grain on the shield already. Let's get the rest of the alcohol off here and get that sealed back up. And here he is after a bit of a, a roll around the carpet. He's got a bit of fluff on him. It kind of feels slimy to the touch, but that's what the next stage is for. Okay, at this point my phone ran out of batteries and I missed some of my recording. Um, but the print looked a lot like this. Uh, it was pretty cool, I was pretty impressed with it. It all came out in one piece, which I immediately posted it to the, uh, to the relevant Facebook groups. Uh, I then went in straight in for a second print of some models I'd queued up in the meantime, uh, which was probably the next day actually, uh, and we went for a um, went for a Hero Forge model. Uh, one failed, one succeeded, um, and I also and I also threw on one of these Wolf Riders, uh, which also came out mostly fine, but the tip of his spear came off. All the time I was doing this, I was learning about uh, where the supports needed to be um, and sort of tweaking the settings. These models were printed at 0.05, which is sort of the default. Um, once I threw some paint on, you couldn't see the layer lines at all. So here are my first couple of sculpts again. Uh, they've just been given a coat of the Halford's grey undercoat. Uh, and I've already gone in with a little spot of vision flesh with my soft brush. And you can't even tell these things have been... And you can barely tell these things have been 3D printed. In fact, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell if I didn't know. And this is at the 0.05 layer height. Um, so for instance, this guy, who I could kind of see the layer lines on before around his face and stuff. It's the Just the primer and a one layer of paint it seems to have covered all that up. Actually, there's some incredible detail. I'm having trouble focusing my camera on it, but look at these buckles. Um, and the lines on his greaves here. That's pretty cool. And so I wanted to test these guys at uh, a 0.02 layer height, uh, but I didn't want it to take all day, so I've picked something quite low. And this is what it is I've come up with. And I'm sure there's a few of you out there who recognize these minis, but possibly not in a 15mm scale. They're not actually true 15mm scale, probably. I just took the original models from Thingverse and just halved the proportion. Actually, if I was aiming for 15mm, that's not turned out too bad. Since then, I've gone completely the opposite way. 
I tried these guys. Uh, these were printed at 0.1, um, so a lot quicker, but but it's definitely worked because of you don't need a lot of detail. And I'm going to use these in a terrain project at some point, so sort of dwarven statues. But I also did a long sort of 12-hour uh, almost print of this guy, also from Warblock. Um, but I did that at 0.02 just to see uh, what a big print in that kind of resolution would look like, and you'd be hard pressed, I mean I can't, I struggle to find any layer lines on this whatsoever. Uh, the marks where the supports have been removed are more noticeable than the layer lines. Um, this is on par with any of a resin miniature I think I've ever got for sort of quality. So all in all I've been really enjoying the 3D printing process, even though I've had a few sort of um, teething problems, but far less than I thought. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, have said that it's a very messy or smelly or uh, you know technical, None of that's true. Um, I've barely noticed the smell. The alcohol smells worse than the uh, resin itself. Uh, I've had not had much trouble with mess. I had one little spill, uh, but I've got a big roll of blue roll over there. Uh, not been a problem. Uh, and it's not been very technical. The more technical side was getting the STLs turned into the right files. Uh, but once you get your hang of that, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, and the printer itself is actually just plug and play. Uh, it's dead simple. Here's the, uh, the models I've been printing. Um, I said it, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with the, the possibilities this gives me uh, and there's definitely a couple of projects that I've got in mind using this uh, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm also going to be doing a video uh, in the near future of the whole process so I will do a full video of cutting a file, putting it in the printer, printing it, curing it to, to, to finished. Um, just so people can see what the whole process is like and it's not as scary as some people online make out. So I would say from my first experience that if you were on the fence about picking up one of these 3D printers, I definitely recommend it. It's been a lot of fun and as you can see, I've got some fairly nice quality miniatures out of it. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.